I have been increasingly interested over the past many months in the relationship between the two most, I would say, best known, most influential conservative political leaders in the country. And of course, I'm talking Premier Doug Ford and the leader of the Conservative Party federally, Pierre Polyev. They would seem to have so much in common, right? They're both in first place in their respective polling. They're both popular at the moment. Both conservatives, obviously. Both populist conservatives, I think it's fair to say. I keep hearing, the more I talk to people around Queen's Park, and federally for that matter, that these two don't like each other, that they don't get along. I hear this all the time. So Pierre Polyev was having, he had a little uh, announcement that he wanted to make in Mississauga last Sunday. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go check that out and see if I can sneak a question in here. Uh, and I simply asked him, um, what's your relationship like with Doug Ford? Pretty neutral, open-ended, lean question. And uh, here's what he had to say. Roll it, please. Could you describe your relationship with Doug Ford? Uh, he's the premier. I'm the leader of the federal opposition and the next prime minister of Canada. And uh, my uh, relationship with him is the same as with everyone. I will work with anyone to ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Thank you. I found that answer quite interesting, partly for what it said. <laughs> I regard him like I regard anybody else. Yeah. That's an unusual thing to say about the kind of the most powerful conservative politician in the country today. Um, but I also found interesting what he didn't say. He didn't say, oh, my friend Doug or my, my friend the premier, didn't call him my friend. And every politician calls every other politician my friend. They do that all the time. Even when they're not friends, they call each other friends. Doug Ford sounds friendlier about Justin Trudeau than Pierre Paul ever sounds about right? Doug Ford. You're absolutely right. <laughs> they seem to have so many common interests. They certainly have a common interest in defeating liberals. Uh, there was nothing about that. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, boy, there are a lot of irritants between these two guys right now. There's also this notion of alternation. But if you look back through the history of the province of Ontario, it almost always happens that when there are conservatives in power federally, there aren't provincially. And if Pierre Polyev wins the next federal election, you know that changes the dynamic at Queen's Park in a way that Doug Ford won't like. One last thing on this. A very experienced conservative saw my column, and he sent me this possible explanation, and it has to do with Jenny Byrne, who once worked in Doug Ford's premier's office, and then she didn't. So she went back to Ottawa, and she is now running Pierre Polyev's operation. And this person's email simply said, Ford fired Jenny. Jenny gets revenge. That's it. <laughs> that was the whole email. I think he may have said in eight words what it took me 800 to say, but anyway, there you go.